Alexandre and I'm Yaak Witsant at the Breda. This is a piece of coastline that I have never fished. I fished the Breda River many times, but never the Witsant stretch of here. I thought it was beach actually, but I see it's just a lot of scattered legends, flat legends you can wade out on and maybe get some kalyun or mussel pack or whatever. But anyway, we've had a lovely breakfast at the Breda River Lodge. And now we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. So follow me as we go and explore this untouched area as far as I'm concerned. Well guys, I found some sort of spot here, good sun. And uh, I'm gonna try a good old KZN trick. Mr. Ghost Grab, which I brought down from KZN. And I'm gonna try it because I understand they get a lot of Kalyun and a lot of brasher or uh, muscle crack as they call them over here. So this is sort of a multi-purpose bait, but I will run you through the process of how to put this thing on if we catch a fish on it. So enough chawara wara, let's go catch that fish. Lazy man's fishing. I decided to fish with two, two rods and I'm using a, an Air Extreme Berkeley 10 foot rod with a spin battle reel over here, 40 pound fire line, some red bait, and on, trying for Kalyun. Well, the target species is achieved. Juvenile, but a Kalyun nevertheless. For those of you who don't know, your national fish, Mr. Kalyun, caught on red bait, Gamagatsu hook. Okay, let's get this little fellow back, just like that. Ah, target species, little Kalyun. Let's go through the typical Western Cape Kalyun bait. For that you need some red bait. The more it stinks, usually the better it works. It's not exactly the type of thing that you're going to take home <laughs> and have a little care with your life when you've been dealing with this. Definitely not. Now you leave it out in a plastic bag or in its cone that you sun bake and that'll make it, make it go off and it creates a, a rich, rich, pungent smell that you don't really want to know. But then, tell you if you like it. So, here's your typical bait. What I do, is I just cut it open. Make it into two halves. Get my hook, and for a hook you need like a one eye hook. That's usually fine. As you see there, a little gamagatsu and you just simply thread it in and out you'll find the outer skin quite tough put one through push it up the shank of the hook so up the line take your next piece and you do the identical thing you know there's a lot of fun in fishing for rockfish and I have to say that it's one of my favorite, favorite disciplines, fishing for rockfish. You do lose a lot of tackle, but you have a lot of fun. And that's basically it. It's an untidy, mushy, smelly, effective bait. And as you see as well, I've got a shorter sinker, longer bait, and the reason for that is because I'm fishing over a lot of ledge. So when the fish got the thing, the sinker doesn't tend to get hooked up as much. If the sinker's longer than your bait, you get to you tend to get a lot of hookups on the rocks. I must tell you guys that this outfit with the pen reel and the Berkeley 10 foot rod, I'm using a three ounce sinker and it's all off balance because the sinker's shorter than the bait so when it flies it doesn't got that aerodynamic to give you that extra long cast. Yes please! Yay! Bye -bye. Yay! Look at that! Light tackle does it again! Oh yes! Oh. Another little fish? Maybe a Kalyun? Don't know. Yes! Oh this light tackle fish is supreme. 
Haven't you guys seen him before? Mr. Blacktail, or Dusty as they call him here. Everything counts when you're scratching like this. He wants to go back. Oh, I'm still giant. Giving her a solid bash. We got those two fish and just a couple of little ones and what have you. Uh, the weather's got really overcast. We're going to go back to the comforts of the Breda River Lodge and have a, a lovely warm meal. I think that's, that's due. Till next time.